So let's simplify the following logarithmic expression. First, what we will do here is we will rewrite a given expression as log of so we have 4 over 7. 4 can be also expressed as 2 raised to the power of 2 divided by 7 plus log of 33 over 8. So 33, the factors will be 3 times 11 divided by, we have 18. So 18 is 2 times 9. So 9 is 3 squared minus log of 22 over 11. So 22 is 2 times 11 divided by 21. So 21 is 3 times 7. Now we will combine the first term and the second term by using the property that log of a plus log of b. So that is the same as log of a times b. So we have log of 2 squared times 3 times 11 divided by 7 times 2 times 3 squared minus log of 2 times 11 divided by 3 times 11 fine um what we will do next here is we'll use a property that negative log of a so that's equals to log of the reciprocal of a so that means log of 1 over a so this will become positive so we'll apply this property to the second term so that means we have log of 2 squared times 3 times 11 divided by 7 times 2 times 3 squared positive log of so we will take the reciprocal of uh, 22 over 21 so that becomes 3 times 7 divided by 2 times 11 this is done so that now we can combine the two logarithm using our property so we will get log of 2 squared times 3 times 11 times 3 times 7 divided by 7 times 2 times 3 squared times 2 times 11. Now here we will see that there will be terms cancelling out. So we have 2 squared. So there are two 2's in the denominator. So they get cancelled out. 3, 3, 3 squared gets cancelled out. 11, 11, 7 and 7 gets cancelled out. That leaves us with 1. So that means we have log of 1. Now irrespective of the base, the log of one value this is always equals to zero so that means our simplified value of this given expression is equals to zero